Hello guys, I'm Kanak. Welcome to my channel Ready Steady Eat. Today I'm gonna show you another healthy snack that is soya bean cutlets. These are prepared out of soya granules with some onions and other flavors in it and then they are shallow fried. They are very low in calorie, they make a great appetizer and very wholesome. So let me show you what you need for this. 1 cup of soya bean granules soaked in warm water for 1 hour. 2 potatoes boiled and mashed. 1 onion finely chopped. 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic crushed, 2 to 3 green chilies finely chopped, 8 to 10 curry leaves, salt to taste, half a teaspoon of red chilli powder, half a teaspoon of cumin powder, half a teaspoon of coriander powder, 1 fourth teaspoon of garam masala, half a teaspoon of any chicken masala you have at home, 1 teaspoon of lime juice, some fresh coriander, 4 tablespoons of all-purpose flour mixed with half a cup of water, Half a cup of bread crumbs, fresh or dry, you can use any. Oil for shallow frying. Here I have soaked the soya granules in the warm water. Now it's been one hour, I am going to strain it and squeeze the excess water out of it and keep it aside. You can see this way. Heat a tablespoon of oil in a pan and to this add the chopped onions and fry for a minute until they look tender and translucent. Now to this I am going to add the ginger garlic crushed and again fry for some more time. Next add in the curry leaves along with the chopped green chilies and again saute it. Now to this I am going to add all the dry spices like the red chilli powder, coriander powder, cumin powder, garam masala and chicken masala and fry for a while until all the spices are cooked nicely in the onion mixture. Take care not to burn the masala. Once the onions and the masalas are cooked through, add the squeezed soya granules and stir again. Also mix in the mashed potatoes along with some salt and lime juice and again mix well. Now finally put in the fresh coriander and give it a good mix. Now close the flame and let it cool down to handle enough. Once it is off the flame, mash and break the chunks of the mixture if any to make a smooth dough out of it. Now make small small portions to make cutlets out of it. Here I am spreading the mixture on a plate and then I am going to flatten the top with the help of greased hands. It should be one to one and a half inch thick. Now with any shape of the cookie cutter or with any other lid of the jar, cut the shapes you like. Here I am using a heart shaped cookie cutter and then press it into the mixture and remove the heart shaped cutlets. Shape it lightly with the help of your hands. See this way how beautiful they have come out. Keep doing this for all the mixture. When all the cutlets are ready, keep it aside. Now these heart shaped cutlets are ready. Now I am going to dip them in the all purpose flour mixed with some water solution. And then immediately I am going to put it in the bread crumbs plate and roll it on all the sides to coat it evenly with the bread crumbs. And keep aside. Do this with all the patties. Now heat some oil in a non-stick pan for shallow frying and place the heart shaped soya patties onto it and fry them on low to medium high heat for around 3 to 4 minutes on either sides or until you see it is cooked enough and crisp on one side keep flipping the sides as desired to cook evenly once done remove them in a kitchen towel and serve hot with some ketchup on the side so my healthy and filling soya bean cutlets are ready. As you can see, they have got nice golden brown color on top. So this was the basic preparation I showed you. But if you want to make it more richer for your guests, you can just uh, stuff it with some broken cashews inside and then shallow fry it. And if you want, you can deep fry it also. That depends on your choice. Here I've used some boiled mashed potatoes for all the vegetarians for binding. But if you want, you can also break an egg into it after the mixture is cooled and just saute it and just mix it and then you can bind patties out of it so do try it and let me know how it turned out in the comment section below hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more such recipes if you have any suggestions do let me know i enjoy replying to your feedbacks i'll see you next time bye bye